A chaotic week for the Trump administration struggling with one crisis after another, including right now as the Dow just closed down more than 400 points after President Trump announced this afternoon his intention to impose new tariffs on steel and aluminum. It had been down more than 500 points earlier. The tariffs raising concern about a possible trade war. This comes as the White House grapples with another bombshell report involving presidential son-in-law and senior advisor Jared Kushner. The New York Times revealing the Kushner family business received loans from companies totaling half a billion dollars amidst Kushner in his capacity as a White House official meeting with the heads of those companies. Joshua Harris, the founder of Apollo Global Management, met with Kushner on multiple occasions beginning in early 2017, three sources told the New York Times. Those sources tell the Times he was advising the administration. According to a CNN source familiar with those conversations, he was also talking about a possible role with the White House. That was discussed, though it was never, though it never materialized. In November 2017, after all these meetings, Kushner Companies was given a $184 million loan by Apollo Global Management. That loan is three times the size of their average property loan, according to the Times. In addition, Citigroup lent Kushner Companies and one of its partners $325 million for a different project, a loan made last spring, after which Kushner met with Citigroup Chief Executive Michael Corbett. A spokesman for Apollo said the loan went through the standard approval process. Citigroup says its CEO was not involved in the transaction and never discussed it with Jared Kushner. A spokesman for Kushner's attorney told CNN, quote, Mr. Kushner has met with hundreds of business people during the campaign transition and in the administration to hear ideas about improving the American economy. He has had no role in the Kushner companies since joining the government and has taken no part of any business, loans, or projects with or for the companies after that. We should note Kushner remains part owner of the company that got the loan from Apollo after he met with the head of Apollo in his official White House capacity, and Jared Kushner owns a stake in the entity that got the loan from Citigroup, after which he met with the CEO of Citigroup in his capacity as a White House official. Now, this report is just the latest calling into question Kushner's ability to function in his position as senior advisor. But sources tell CNN Kushner is planning to stay, and the White House reaffirmed that the president wants him to. Well, let's go now to CNN's Pamela Brown. Pamela, we've seen many tumultuous weeks at this White House. Is there any sense among allies of President Trump that this time all the tumult, everything going on with Jeff Sessions, with the market today, with Jared Kushner, with Hope Hicks, that it's different in any way. Yeah, it certainly seems like it's one thing after another just in the last couple of days, Jake. And there is a sense in the White House that the morale has plummeted. And it feels to some staffers who he's spoken to who are used to the chaos, mind you, that things seem to be in a downward spiral. Uh, even with today's tariff announcement, Jake, sources say many White House staffers were left in the dark on what is a major trade decision that has already caused the stock market to go down in reaction. But today, White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders downplayed there was any chaos surrounding that announcement and beyond. President Trump announcing plans to impose tariffs on steel and aluminum next week, a move that could spark a trade war. Workers in our country have not been properly represented. So we're going to build our steel industry back and we're going to build our aluminum industry back. The president outlined the tariffs, 20 percent on steel and 10 percent on aluminum, during hastily arranged comments at the White House. The move, aimed at fulfilling a longtime campaign promise, comes a day after the White House announced the pending resignation of one of the president's longest serving and closest advisors, communications director Hope Hicks. She used to be in my real estate company. I said, what do you know about politics? She said, absolutely nothing. I say, congratulations, you're into the world of politics, right? Hicks' departure adding to the chaos in the West Wing, with sources describing sinking morale among staffers. Amid the turmoil, White House Chief of Staff John Kelly cracking a joke about his job in the White House at an event with current and former heads of the Department of Homeland Security. One of the great uh, honors of my life being the Secretary of Homeland Security, uh, but I did something wrong and God punished me, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly's crackdown on interim security clearances leading to the loss of top secret clearance for Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, along with dozens of other White House officials. The move adding to tensions in the West Wing and raising questions from those outside the White House about Kushner's role. I don't think he should have been there to begin with, especially with the um, 
portfolio that he had. What I'm worried about right now in the White House is the revolving door. It's spinning like a top. Look, Jared's still a valued member of the administration, and he's going to continue to focus uh, on the work that he's been doing. Kushner is also facing fresh scrutiny over a report in the New York Times that his family business has received $500 million in loans from companies whose executives he met with at the White House. A spokesman for Kushner's attorney tells CNN that Kushner has met with hundreds of business people but has had no role in the family's company since joining the government. Even though Kushner stepped down as chief executive of the company, he still retains a stake in many Kushner company holdings, according to his financial disclosure. And Kushner's spokesperson says a Kushner has had no role in, in Kushner Company since joining the government. Now, Sarah Sanders, you heard there, said during that press briefing today that the president uh, does not want to fire Kushner and that he will continue in his current role. But Sanders' answer on Attorney General Jeff Sessions was far from certain, Jake. In response to a question about whether the president wants to get rid of Sessions, she would only say, not that I know of, Jake. Not that I know of. Pamela Brown.